Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 welcome to the BS Show. It's your boy Sally. Back at it again with another college game day analysis. Uh, last week we had UCF versus Cincinnati. Uh, UCF won pretty convincingly, whatever. Uh, Cincinnati came to play, but um, UCF just had way too much talent for them. Speaking of way too much talent, this week we got number 10 Ohio State versus number 4 Michigan. Uh, Ohio State won pretty convincingly. I mean, this is supposed to be the rivalry of the century, but Michigan really, past couple of years, past probably decade, Michigan ain't been holding the end of the bargain. Past probably two. In the two decades, bro. Michigan really ain't been holding the end of the bargain, man. But it is what it is, man. Uh, Michigan came to this game favored. It's ranked number four, ten and one. Only lost Notre Dame. Notre Dame's ranked number three right now. Uh, Ohio State came here number ten, ten and one. They only lost was to a Purdue team who Purdue pretty much whooped the heck out of them boys, but. It is what it is, man. I mean, like I said, it's still a rivalry game. You can't, I, you can't really get Michigan in the favor just because the past. I mean, the past couple of years, Ohio State been having Michigan number like no matter what. They been, I mean, I think the last good game was in sixteen well, when they they went OT with them, but that was about it, man. But say Ohio State won this game pretty convincingly, sixty-two to thirty-nine. Uh, Michigan supposedly had the number one ranked defense, but. Ohio State was able to put 62 points in a, uh, a lot. Of, uh, one of the points came off a block punt, but that's still 55 points them boys put up on them guys, man. So we going to see what's going on, man. Why was this game so terrible? Let's find out right now. See, Ohio State first touchdown. Michigan's playing man coverage. I don't know why they're playing man. They can't match Ohio State speed, but this – this is their game plan. This is what they be coordinated decide to go with. You can see right here, how they come with the crossing routes. This guy, he the guy uh, does a good job on the scene right that interrupts his corner that's covering the guy, that's covering this guy, the number one guy. But it's kind of like somewhat like somewhat of a pick route. Slow them enough, even if it's a step, it's enough. Man on oh man, touchdown. Athlete on athlete up. Michigan can't match these guys, man. I don't know why they was going man coverage throughout the game, but screen pass, probably one play that went zone, but nobody's able to make a tackle. <laughs> the house stage is having their way with these guys, man. This game came down to coaching, man, because Harbaugh he should have knew that they wasn't going they gonna beat these guys athlete for athletes, man. They weren't a the better team on the athletic standpoint. Pocket, look at this pocket, man. This guy has ample amount of time to throw this thing. One, two, three. These guys on this one guy, man. Not knowing this guy way back there. I'm assuming this is cover three. And this guy misses the side. And the safety came up trying to attack this guy that's running like a slant route. He has no business over there. This game's very undisciplined, this game, man. One on one, a corner of Ohio State number eight. He's been having some issues this year, man. It's not, it's not the first, second, or third time seeing this guy get beat like this. It seemed like he was playing like a cover three, like a zone coverage at first, and he turned. I mean, it was too late by that time. I mean, they, if Michigan really wanted to win this game, I, I would have started picking on that guy, number eight. No offense, my boy, but you've been. These past couple games I've been watching, bro. You just it ain't been where it's at, but hey, pretty sure you made plays also. But come from a school like Howard State, you expect everybody to make plays when you, when you mess up. That job won't get highlighted. Oh, this guy is watching these two guys. He has no business watching them. He should be watching that that running back coming on the on the wheel route, but. I don't know what kind of zone coverage that was, but obviously he wasn't where he's supposed to be at. Got to trust his guys. Got to trust his two guys. Block. Obviously Ohio State came to play. <laughs> it's 27-19. You still in the game, Michigan. You can't give up a play like that. That's unacceptable. 
Looks like your boy, like he's trying to throw it away, but it just didn't come out right. This is like. <laughs> Rolling out, look at this D line, man. That's that's probably been the story of the game. The pressure they gave him. This highlight doesn't really show all the sacks Ohio State had, but they they D line, the front seven was bringing that pressure, man. I think that's what kind of made the difference in this game. Ohio State O line been holding it down. Option, they don't really expect um, Haskins do option like that, so nobody's really accountable for that running back. I mean, when you got old, the other quarterback in, that's when they usually do these run. These option plays, these quarterback runs, but you got Dwayne Haskins in, man. You got to respect the pass. You don't expect them to come out, roll out with the option like that. Urban Meyer did a great job game planning for these cats, man. Boy, number eight getting picked on again, man. Michigan real game plan. They should have just added extra protection and attacked this Ohio State secondary. But uh, Greg Schiano did a good enough job to hold these guys out. Great job. Here we go, just this guy, man. He kind of stutter steps. He kind of waits for him to cut back, but he's supposed he need to have that outside lane. You gotta trust number three right there. You gotta trust number three. Now he just. If you guys are winding, man, old boy, I'm 14, he kind of he kind of stutter steps, man. Uh, gets caught on his heel. Old boy, 21 is too fast for him, man. That's that's one thing I've been telling people about Ohio State, man. They got to use they, this guy, man, he's supposed to jail number 14. He got to at least bump him to get him off his route because your boy, he not. That's one thing about how I first told people about Ohio State with their offense, man. They can't really run the ball at the middle like that. They got to use their speed, kind of attack the perimeter. Use their athletic ability, man. Look at this pocket, man. It's ridiculous, man. This 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 was kind of the difference of the game, man. The protection they had, too much. Too much for him. Way too much for him. Too many athletes. Ohio State. Earl Meyer had a great game plan for this game, man. Just use the speed. Use the speed that they got. No, Michigan couldn't match them athlete for athlete, but Michigan got hella good coaching. But I don't know. They came to this game saying like we're gonna we're gonna try to oppose our will against this team, but no. That's not what you want to do against a team like Ohio State because they want to come, they gonna come ready either way, especially for a game like this, a rivalry game in the shoe. They not trying to lose that game, man. But I mean, I'm telling everybody now, I'm not an Ohio State fan. You can't stand them. You know what it's all about. It's all about the youth. You know what I'm saying, I can't stand Ohio State, but I gotta give them respect where it's due because they, they did what they're supposed to do, man. Um, being the number, a number ten, a ten ranked team, trying to get to the college football playoffs. And whooping on Michigan like that, they, uh, I said they got my vote, man. I would like to see UCF going there, but they lost the quarterback, man. That kind of sucks for them, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So I don't, it kind of makes it easier for the college football playoff committee to say, nah, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't got to put UCF in there. They don't really have enough ammo to get in there. So, uh, they might throw Ohio State in there. It depends how this goes. Because I don't really like Notre Dame neither. Because Notre Dame, I don't think talent-wise, they got what it takes to contend in the college football playoffs. But, I mean, I see Bama beating Georgia. I mean, Michigan's out of there. So, they're going to throw Georgia in there anyway. So, they'll probably uh, – depends who's 5, 6, 7, 8. I know LSU just lost. So, I know they're out of there. Uh, let's see who's up there. They might throw Washington up there just because they they beat they end up beating the number eight Washington State, but I it's looking like it's looking like Ohio State is gonna probably be number four. It's gonna be Bama, Clemson, Notre Dame, um, Georgia, and Ohio State. All right, starting off from Saturday, it's 
Bama, Clemson, Notre Dame, Michigan's out of there, so Georgia's going to jump to about number four. Oklahoma, they might throw them up there. You got UCF, like I said. Uh, college football playoff committee probably lost their faith in them or whatever. I, I, I mean, that's, that's just an excuse. I mean, when the quarterback went out, man, that sucks, man. I hope whole old boy get better, man, soon. But they got they got an excuse to get them out of there, so UCF not in there. Washington State end up losing, so I don't think Washington – Washington end up being Washington State, but I don't think Washington's going to take a big jump. So LSU, Washington State, and Michigan's out of there. So Ohio State's going to move. Ohio State's going to jump UCF regardless. Ohio State's going to jump UCF. So it's probably going to be Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, uh, and Ohio State. So Ohio State being number five, probably going to see – yeah, LSU end up losing Texas now. So we're probably going to see Georgia. Georgia versus Bama in the college football playoffs. Georgia's probably going to lose to Bama. If Bama loses, Bama's still going to be in there regardless. Because, like, your boy Shannon Sharp said, it's the Alabama Invitational. So, and that, it is what it is. So, I'm saying. But my expectation is Alabama's going to be Georgia. So, it's going to be Alabama, Clemson, uh... Notre Dame and shoot, I don't. It depends how Oklahoma, Oklahoma lost to Texas earlier in the year, so it depends how big the win is. So I, I think if Ohio State, Ohio State is gonna beat up on Northwestern, they gotta beat up on them guys regardless. They gotta, they gotta be a conventional win. Like they gotta be like, 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 like fifty five to fourteen or something. So I mean, Ohio State got the offense to put up got the offense to put it. I mean, points, but their defense is kind of slacking. But we gotta see how it is. Greg Shannon, he got it's a lot of pressure on him right now. So uh, if Ohio State put put a whoop on Northwestern, and Texas, yeah, I think Texas just came off a of win, so they got a lot of momentum going to face of Oklahoma. So it's gonna be a rivalry game. Might be close. Might be another shootout. I know Big Twelve might be. 55 to 60 or something, man. But they gonna college football playoff committee is going to be impressed with Ohio State with the win they got off of Michigan. I don't, they might even jump Oklahoma this week, but we're going to see tomorrow. It's going to be very interesting to see. But, I mean, it's, it's getting kind of exciting, man, because these playoff, these rankings is crazy, man. Like, I, like I said, I feel sorry for UCF, but, man, like I said, it's – Injury to the quarterback made it a lot easier for the college football playoff committee. So it is what it is, man. But that's all I got for y'all, man. But I'll see y'all next week uh, for the game day. I'm assuming it's going to be Bama and Georgia. Uh, they, that's where it's going to be at. It's going to be Alabama and Georgia. Like I don't see anywhere it's going to be at. They're not going to be at Clemson and Pitt or uh, Ohio State, Northwestern, Oklahoma, and um, Texas. Bama, Georgia, one and I mean one and four or one and three, whatever it's gonna be, but it is what it is, man. It's your boy Sully, I'm out. Oh yeah. I get around. Still clown with the underground when we come around.